there's no need to get tipsy. Relax, reflux, condenser. Subscribe, baby, subscribe. A cross section of a speaker shows a magnet, a voice coil, and a cone. As you learned earlier, the magnet in our speaker is an electromagnet called a field coil. Field coils are seldomly used in modern speakers because we now have non-electrical magnets, called permanent magnets, that are strong enough to do the job. A speaker's field coil is fed a steady current, so its magnetic field stays constant. The voice coil is also an electromagnet, but it's fed with the fluctuating audio current, which creates a fluctuating magnetic field. As the voice coil's fluctuating field interacts with the steady field from the field coil, it begins to move, just as two magnets attract or repel, depending on polarity. The speaker cone is attached to the voice coil, and they both move in relation to the audio signal. The moving cone acts as an air pump and generates sound waves that are also in relation to the audio signal. Your ear detects the sound waves and hears the audio signal. Here's the speaker in our antique radio. Notice the voice coil, magnet pole, and cone with its many cracks. This is a common issue with old radios, even ones that aren't smashed in shipping. Because they're made of paper, speaker cones are pretty delicate. The high heat coming from the tubes can slowly bake the paper, causing it to become brittle and crack. As the cone vibrates, the brittle paper can start tearing itself apart. Our speaker has had this issue for some time. If you look closely, you can see that someone had previously repaired a tear with glue. A damaged speaker cone needs to be repaired. If not, the torn, brittle paper will vibrate out of control, causing unpleasant rattles and buzzing. It's possible to cut out a damaged cone and install a new one, but if it isn't completely destroyed, I'll just repair it. I began by laying down a thin layer of glue around the cracks. Usually I use an acid-free paper cement, but I was all out and decided to try a white glue. I then cut strips of suitable paper to size and laid them over the cracks. I saturated the paper with glue and worked the pieces into the contours of the cone. At this point, I noticed that the cone gasket was separating from the speaker's metal frame. This can cause a lot of rattling, so I glued it securely back in place. The cone was repaired at this point, but I knew the paper would continue to deteriorate and break down over time. To prevent this, I applied a coat of Wet Look Speaker Cone Treatment. Wet Look protects the cone with a tough coating that still remains flexible. And here's the final result. It's not pretty, but as you'll hear later, the repairs were a complete success. Be sure to join me for the next video where I'll tackle a few wiring repairs and we'll test the radio for the first time to see if the restoration was successful. To stay updated, please subscribe and click the bell. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.